All right, guys, from the taste of the triangle to Mardi Gras and food truck invasion. So many food events happening around town. Our girl Lauren Bebo is here to tell us about all of them. And today, Lauren brought us a very special guest, Anita Wynn from the Golden Croissant. Ladies, what's going on? Nothing much, just a good foodie Friday. It Mardi Gras. definitely <laughs> is a good foodie Friday. If you guys had like smell of vision, you'd be so jealous right now. So Lauren, first things first, I want to talk about this plate. Okay, so we have Taste of the Triangle coming up and one of the 2016 winners was the Rodair Roadhouse. Mm. They took it all home. This year they're going to be serving Cajun fried ribs. Okay. You won't find this anywhere else in Southeast Texas. It's one of a kind. Uh, you can order it at the Rodare Roadhouse, located on Jade Avenue in Port Acres, which is just a little bit, uh, about five minutes from Central Mall, not too far away. Locally owned and operated, we want to support them. Great flavors coming out of there. Now, we know we have some new folks in town, so if they haven't been to a Taste of the Triangle, tell them how amazing this event is. So Taste of the Triangle is pretty awesome. People around Southeast Texas look forward to it every year. You pay one price, I think it's $20 a ticket. It's around that range, don't quote me on that. Um, but you get all the samples you want, mainly from local area restaurants, locally owned, and there's a few chain restaurants in there too. But it's a great time, everyone looks forward to it every year. It's on Fat Tuesday. Speaking of Fat Tuesday, <laughs> Anita, you have a really festive king cake here for us today. Ew. Talk to me about what's special about this king cake. Um, so your traditional king cake is a sweet one. It's a sweet cinnamon dough um, that has the sugar icing. It's really sweet for people who, you know, have that sweet tooth. So this one's more of a savory kind for people who um, like boudin, especially for Southeast Texas from the South. Um, mm -hmm. People who, you know, it's kind of a more meaty, um, fills you up a little bit more. All so right. it's just something different, something new for people to try. So we've got boudin in the inside, but what are we going to drizzle on the outside? Okay. So it does have the pulled pork boudin inside, pepper jack cheese, and then we have our sweet jalapeno sauce that we're going to both drizzle. All right. So go ahead and do there. We get all nice yeah. and fancy. <laughs> Yum. Yes. And this is not it. Boudin in the inside, drizzle on the outside, but we're going to top this with something yes. everyone loves. It is bacon. bacon. Of course. <laughs> so it adds nice. that sweet, salty crunch. We have that sweet sauce, and of course, your famous boudin inside. Where can yeah. folks find this king cake? Um, so we're a locally owned um, and operated bakery in Nederland. We're called Golden Croissant. Uh, we've been open for over 30 years, wow. and we've been doing king cakes for about over 20 years now. All right, and one more thing before we get out of here, Lauren. We've got some food trucks coming to town. Yes, next Friday uh, I helped plan the first food truck invasion at Five Under Golf Center. Uh, free admission. We just want people to come out and support these food trucks. There's going to be seven different kinds. That's kind of unheard of around here to have seven food trucks in one location. So that's next Friday at Five Under Golf Center on College Street. Make Sounds sure to come by. Good. Ladies, thanks for sharing. Course, we're going to dig in during yes. this commercial Ooh, break. Yes. While we're eating, I want you to stick around. Once upon a